Hello, and welcome to YouTube video for this 2005 Four Wind Thor Industry Mendeley Model 40E. A really nice motorhome. We're going to talk about this video from entire coach from front to the back and all the sides. Windshield looks like free from any cracks or well, any road rock chip I see. Good condition. Generator is 8,000 hours. Let me go inside and extend it, let you see it. It's got a push button to slide out. So I'm inside the coach. I'm going to push this button out. So it comes out, as you can see, about 859 hours. Runs really good. Powers everything up. A 3M film is okay here, but around here it's just a little bit going bad. I mean, you could repaint it or take it off. That's typical. A little scratch here, but it's not a scratch. I'm sorry, that's the end of the uh, 3M film. That's 3M film right here. I'm not a big fan of those 3M film. It does protect from uh, uh, bugs and stuff. All right, windshield uh, windows are not foggy. The one on top of that window is slightly foggy, if you could see it. We got a little paint cracking going on, and that's if you are really close. If you get away 10 feet, you don't see it, okay? But it's typical again. It's 2005, 11 years old coach, but no D lamp, straight body. It's a full body paint. Tires in really good shape. Take a look at it. Please take a look at all my pictures. Look at the date codes. Uh, they're not new, but they're not original. No dry rider crack, aluminum uh, alcohol wheels. Really good shape. This is a big coach. Uh, it's got an XC raised rail chassis, four slide outs. We've got two slides on both sides, so it makes four slides. Nice awning. Uh, patio, I mean, what do you call the uh, slide out toppers? A little bit in the corner, they got taped up if you could see it. Uh, they could be changed for maybe uh, 500 a piece or something like that if you wanted a uh, fabric like the, it is. It's like a tarp, but uh, I mean, tarp kind of a material cloth fabric but if you would change it with a a vinyl I can get them done for about two three hundred dollars a piece so I'm gonna show you like it is uh, we just got a lot of coaches right now so we're gonna let somebody have a good bargain double this slide out tray opens up on both sides it'll come out this way and other side as well it's complete pass-through storage over here we got a little bit of scratch right here Take a look at all my pictures. This video is just for demonstration only, but I get feedback from my customers. They love videos. Uh, big bay windows here. Bedroom slide has another awning, just as well as you saw the front living room slide. Side mount radiator, a big plus for those people who want to tow 10,000 pound towing capacity. Uh, rear access to the engine. It's a C7 Cat, I believe, 350 Cat, 350 horsepower Caterpillar, plenty of power. This is a big plus instead of a rear radiator. Let's go up top and take a look at the roof. All right, we're on top of the roof of this 2005 Mandalay. Start looking from back, the rear cap. Seal is really good, no dry rot at ceiling. Uh, solid one-piece fiberglass roof, really good shape. Uh, Max Air on top of the bathroom area. Take a look at the skylight. All this caulking looks good. And if not, you have to just re-caulk it. Every, every couple of summers, you're supposed to get up on top and look at this thing. Solid roof, no, no issues. It did have an in-motion type dish. It's been taken off. A little bit of clear coats coming off there. That's typical in this age of motorhome. But caulking is all good. No water leaks. Just want, want you to look at that. Uh, awnings all in good shape, except like I told you, those uh, toppers, you can tape them or we can negotiate in the price. We can have those done. All right, let's go back down and continue this video. So we just came off the roof in really good condition. Uh, 10,000 pound towing capacity, we talked about that. Take a look at it, body straight. Got a little bit of paint flaw, but it's full body paint. Um, let's look at some of the, that's an inverter, 2000 watts inverter. We haven't had this thing cleaned or detailed yet. We just four new batteries. That's what we did. We put a four new six volt coach batteries. Two cranking batteries were just fine, no problem. A little uh, lamp, uh, 
cover cover goes on top we'll take care of that again tires are in really good shape there's no dry rotted cracks that's the slide out tray that goes on both sides let me demonstrate that you see how far it comes out and it comes out on the other side same way back saver and lots of underbelly storage More storage up here. I believe it's got an outside entertainment. This is a complete pass-through storage. Take a look at it all the way. Push it down. Hold on. It goes all the way throughout. All right, here we got entertainment center. A little 19 or 20 inch TV, but you could put, probably put a 32 inch TV if you like. It slides out. It's got a little lock mechanism and I guess it turns and it comes out. Looks like it's somebody did it. At, a good job, but you could probably put a bigger TV out here if you'd like. We got electric patio awning, electric entrance awning. All right, let's step in the coach. You're gonna like this coach inside. No smell of any type, no smoke odor, no pet odor, no mildew smell, just a clean coach. All right, we'll start from the front right here. 53,000 miles. That's where you get the jacks, uh, the generator to come in. It's got push the button. It's in. Uh, we're gonna crank it up. Wait to start. Light comes. You have to wait, and it'll fire right up. Yep. Fifty-three thousand miles. Eight sixty-nine. Eight hundred sixty hours. We got our HWH leveling jacks, power mirrors, mirror heat. We got a visor, they're all electric, so you got it. Even passenger has his own electric sun visors. Six speed automatic Allison transmission, air horn or city horn. Pack brakes, that's exhaust brakes. Uh, paddles come in and out. Take a look at it. They just adjustable paddle for different heights of driver. A really neat feature. We have a telescopic and and tele, uh, telescopic and tilt steering wheel. Uh, it's got a brake controller too. If you're gonna tow something, got a little CB radio here, CD player, backup monitor, um, smart steering wheel, cup holder. All right, nice Samsung flat screen TV has been replaced from a previous uh, CRT TV. It's got a Sony DVD player or maybe a Blu-ray player, I'm not sure. The struts works and they stay up. Some paperwork here, Mandalay motorhome owner's manuals. Over here, we got a surround sound speakers. Oh, here's your inverter control, uh, level monitor panel, slide out controls, and this is your uh, electronic control management meter that tells you what's using what. Privacy curtain that goes around in the front. Seems like a newer carpet here. We'll have a detail on plastics rundown, and we don't let people come in with a shoe. I am in it right now because you haven't had a chance to get this thing detailed. Got a lounge J sofa on this end, and a sofa that opens up in a bed. That's the, uh, I think, magic sofa. Yep, it's a magic bed. It opens up here. Ceramic tiling in here. We got uh, uh, Korean countertops, three burner gas stove, convection oven here. Dual stainless steel sink. Once again, this thing is, we're just doing a quick video. We haven't had a detail yet. Uh, we'll take care of that. Lots of cabinets here, drawers, I believe uh, more room here. Yep, nice little wood trim piece on top. Uh, over here, I think th 
thing has a little lock mechanism and extends and there should be one or two chairs extra in the back. I like this counter space to put some bread and fruits or whatnot have you. Uh, nice windows everywhere. More storage up on top. Side by side refrigerator here and a motorhome along with the ice maker. More counter space here, some wine cooler. I love this side aisle floor plan with the big bay windows and has a day and night shades. Bathroom, you'd like the floor plan on this. You can come in here, you can also come in from the bedroom. So it's got a nice stand up shower. By the way, this is a tall ceiling. It's a seven feet tall ceiling. Really tall ceiling coach. Corian countertops, medicine cabinet, a toilet back here. So it's private toilet and it's got a slide out door for the bedroom. So we can come in a bedroom from here or from the side hallway. King size bed, that's another big plus. Let's see what's under there. That's an extra chair right here. All right. A little vanity area here. And you'd like this. It's a nice mirror, but you open it up, and guess what? You have a window behind it. Some cabinet up top. Another TV. The so previous owner upgraded, but I took the old TV out and put this LCD TVs. Washer dryer combo back here. Deep closet. And last over here on the back, we got a deep coat closet. Pretty deep, so you know, you can hang a dress or coat and it won't touch either wall. Now back of the wind, uh, back of the bedroom, you got windows on both sides and nice headboard back here with a mirror. And some storage up on top. So this will conclude our video presentation. We may get on the road and give you a little test drive video on this 2005 Mandalay 40E in really good shape with some flaws as you saw my video. And it's a 2005, so we like to show you everything. Uh, it's a Southern Coach, uh, traded in, not a repo. Let me repeat, it's a trade-in motorhome, not a repo. Um, give me a call for any questions, 864-404-0054. My number again is 864-404-0054. Have a great day and look forward to earning your business. Test drive video for this 2005 Mandalay 40E. Um, very comfortable to drive. We just started out at the storage, um, getting on the highway. Well, we're getting on our inner road and then we're gonna get on the interstate in just a little bit here. Um, it's got a backup monitor that you could turn it off. It would be on auto mode. So when you put it in reverse, it automatically comes on to let you see what you're backing up on or not. Um, it's got a smart steering wheel. Uh, they call ICC lights or Interstate Commerce Commission lights. Like uh, you can give them high beam, low beam. When when you let somebody pass or somebody let you pass, then you give them a thank you light. So that's what they call there, right here, in the steering wheel. Uh, we got uh, as you see the wipers are right here on the on the steering wheel. Uh, even as you see the. Uh, windshield wipers work I mean windshield washer the fluid is coming out a lot of little stuff that you could check with this video and uh, being a used motor they may have a few flaws and maybe one thing or one cabinet door may not latch it's part of a used motor home we're trying to take care of little stuff and some little stuff will let you take care of it but uh, main thing we make sure it's functioning properly driving good changing in each gear um, high beam is on right now. Let me get it lower beam. We'll check all those uh, turn signal. Those are safety. All right, we got we got those um, sun shades, electric shade. It's got one for the passenger too. If the passenger can do it with the driving. Oh yeah, she's taking a video and doing it. So they work. All right, we're about to enter interstate here. See how it drives. And we're going to test the uh, exhaust brakes and all. There we are. It's very easy to drive, I tell you. 
Some people are very, uh, just you got to make a wider turn. I just turn to right, you make wider turns. That's all you do. And those mirrors on the bottom, they call blind spot. Those are your, those are your friends. You just got to watch them that you're not going over the curbs and you are staying away from the white land, um, which is the border of the interstate or the roads. All right, here we're entering the interstate, 55 miles an hour. I'm putting a fuel, you probably can't even hear anything because being a diesel pusher engine is in back. I'm at 60, 62, 60, almost 65 miles an hour. And I'm gonna move over one lane here. I'm gonna continue towards downtown. Let's see, I'm doing 65 miles an hour very comfortably. We're gonna test the cruise control on set. It's set, I have, I'm on a cruise now. So there we go. And, and look at the steering wheel. It, it just stays straight, does not pull right or left. I got to turn because the road is turning, but uh, just drives really good at 65 miles an hour. You're going to get optimal gas mileage, or diesel mileage, or fuel mileage uh, as well at 65. But let's take it off to maybe a little bit 70 miles an hour. It'll, it'll still drive good. All right, we're going to test one more thing would be called exhaust brakes see if that works air horn works all right pack brakes are on as soon as I put a tap on a brakes yep exhaust brakes are activated activating they're working properly the way it's supposed to well this will conclude our long video of inside outside roof and a test drive give me a call for any questions again I prefer text communication because it's better and efficient for me. 864-404-0054. Uh, the number again is 864-404-0054. Uh, for Canadian customers, uh, don't have a long distance, call me on my 888-352-2316. That's toll free, 888-352-2316. Thank you for your patience watching my whole video and uh, give me a call or text me for any questions. Have a great day.